everyone, it's Liz from Shelby Senior Services and we are back this week with another healthy cooking video for you. Um, this week we are going to try and make a pesto hummus. Um, it's really very, very simple. Um, so I'll go over the ingredients with you. It just really takes a few minutes in a little uh, food processor. So what we have here, we have a can of um, chickpeas which I've kept a little bit of the water that they're in instead of adding in more later. I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. So one can of uh, chickpeas. We have a half a cup of fresh basil that I just picked out of the garden. We have a teaspoon of garlic powder. It's really a couple garlic cloves to throw in there, but my garlic wasn't any good. So we're going with powder today. A half a teaspoon of salt. A quarter cup of lemon juice. I use bottled, you can use fresh. Um, a quarter cup of pine nuts. A third cup of Parmesan cheese. And then back here, we're gonna add in a quarter cup of oil once we get it all started. I'm out of, I'm out of measuring cups, I've used them all. So we're just gonna start by combining everything into our little food processor here. And um, we're gonna start with the chickpeas because they're uh, definitely the largest quantity. All right, next we're gonna throw in our basil. Oh, gotta get it all in there. It's still a little wet from when I washed it, but that's all right. All right, next we're gonna toss in our Parmesan cheese. Get all that in there. And I just used already shredded so that way I didn't have to open the one to I had to grade and less work. Add in our quarter cup of pine nuts, our garlic and salt. Gonna add in our quarter cup of lemon juice. And I'm gonna pour our quarter cup of olive oil, but I'm gonna blend this first and see how liquidy it is. I'll put about half of it in there. All right, so I'm gonna put the lid on. I am going to blend this off camera because I don't think anyone wants an earful of blender noises. So I'm gonna um, grind this all up, see how it combines. Um, we'll check in on it, see if anything needs added and go from there. All right, so I have the food processor processor going for uh, about a minute. We're going to go around the edges, kind of push everything down that got shoved up at top. But it's really looking pretty good. I am going to add in that last bit of olive oil I have. You know, it's pretty light. It doesn't need too much. But we'll add in just that little bit. All right. So it's going to go back into the processor for just a second and we'll check on it then. All right, so I grinded it up a little bit more, added in that olive oil. I think it's looking pretty good, but let's see if you can see it there. It's pretty thin. It's moving around, so it's still, it's a little liquidy, but I don't mind it like, well, better not put that on it. I don't mind it. I use it with pita chips or pretzels or something like that typically. So um, this is a great addition for a snack or a side or really anything. I, a lot of people eat hummus with vegetables. I'm a fan of ranch with vegetables, but <laughs> that's just me. So very easy. Made it in just a few minutes. Takes more time to set up the camera than it does to make it. But um, easy, just a few ingredients, and typically besides the basil, it's most, most things people have. So try it at home and let me know how you like it. Thanks.